making a DIY circle skirt using the what's the craft circle skirt template that I talked about over on the blog I mentioned this fabric in my last video when I did the pattern haul and my mini fabric haul so stay tuned and let's make a skirt the supplies that you'll need for this tutorial is the what's the craft template which you'll see right over here your fabric scissors Taylor's chalk and a measuring tape or a yardstick, whatever you use to measure. This is what the template looks like when you go on the What's the Craft website. Again, I'll leave a link in the description bar down below so that you can go and grab your own copy. First thing, I'm going to open up the fabric. I'm going to open it up long, the long way. So as you can see, this is pretty long. I'm opening it up the long way. And then I am going to fold it in half by the width. And the circle skirt is made on the bias. This is a non-stretch fabric, so even though it's non-stretch, it's going to have some give. Make sure your selvage ends are even. Uh, I want to do this inside out. Because we're going to mark on it. So you definitely want to have right sides together. I folded my fabric in half by the width. Now I'm actually going to fold it in half by the length. So I'm going from selvage to selvage. Now from here is where we're going to start to use our template. Now I'm actually going to flip my fabric because me being right-handed, I like to work from the right-hand side. And then I'll take my template and I'll place it. Now, the, the biggest thing here is follow the directions of the video. On the Western Craft site, I decided to initially, when I made the first skirt, to cut it by my waist size. And it actually turned out to be a little too big, even though I was not using a stretch fabric. And so we are advised in her video to cut one size below. Cutting one size below makes a difference. You're gonna place this in the corner of where both sides are folded. Fold, fold. And then you'll lay your pattern, your template. And to hold it steady, I just have some binder clips here that I had laying around the house. Now when you cut out your pattern, make sure you cut where you want it to lay. You take your tailor's chalk and you just trace 
your circle. Then you get your measuring tape and you measure the length that you want your skirt. Hmm. Now this is too short for me. All right, so this is not going to work. So because my fabric is not long enough, and the um, it is actually let's see. So the width of my fabric is actually 52 inches, which is for me still not long enough. I'm five nine, and I need. I need some more length to my skirt. So, what I'm how I'm going to do it is unlike the video, so it depends on how tall you are. I did do a shorter version of the skirt, but I also had a wider piece of fabric. It was probably 60 inches or more. I think it might have even been 64. And um I'll show you here. This skirt here, This skirt here, I did exactly as instructed on the What's the Craft video. Doesn't have a seam and it also has an elastic waistband. The fabric that I used for this was actually wider than the fabric that I'm using now. So I have to do a slight modification, but I'm still using the template as my guide. Because of that, I have to make a slight adjustment. I'm going to turn my fabric into a triangle by taking one end so I took my folded end and I brought it over to the salvage end And you should be able to see here, it is kind of like in a triangular shape. And I'm still gonna use a template, I just have to use it a little differently. So I'll take the template and I will actually match it up to where my, my corners meet the fabric. Okay, corner to corner. And then I'll clip it. Now, because I've done circle skirts before, I kind of know my regular measurement for creating the circle skirt, and I am just going to measure out just to be sure that I'm in the right, yes. So, it's like 11 in a corner, so I am measuring correctly. And now I'll just trace out the template.
There's my template. And from here, I'll measure out the length that I want from my waist down below. And I want it to be I want to measure it out to be 28 inches around. That 28 is going to include my hem on both the top as well as the bottom. And I will do a half inch, half inch, five, five eighths on the bottom, half inch on the top. Actually, let me do 28 and a half. So I'll mark 28 and a half all the way around to the other side. And now I will take it to the serger. I will serge all of them, all around. I'm going to serge all around my edges and then I'll be back. Okay, so I finished serging my skirt. I serge all around, as you can see. And what I'm going to do is two things. First, I'm going to sew my seam. So I will sew my seam. Actually, before I do that, I am going to, what I like to do before I hem a skirt is I like to give myself a marker so I like to give myself a marker so what I'm going to do is at five the entire skirt that gives me a marker so that when I go to that gives me a marker so that when I go to um, press and fold and I know it's like an extra step but I don't like I don't want to take the time out to use a marker um, to go all the way around so I will do my five, my um, ha actually a half inch. I'm gonna do a half inch hem. So I will draw, um, sew a marker so that I know where I'm folding and where I'm pressing. And then I will sew up my seam. Now I'll go and press this seam and you notice I sewed my seam all the way up to the top. Get rid of these threads here. And I will press my hem along I will take my hem and then I will press it up all around along my hemline 
that I created and I'll be right back. So I did my seam and I pressed it out and then I pressed up my hem. Now I'm going to sew very close to the edge here so that I can capture it and make it look very neat. So trim your loose threads. Okay. I lost them. Oh. And now the last part that I need to do is attach the elastic waistband. Normally I would allow my skirt to hang for 24 hours, but I have to be to church early in the morning. So 24 hours is not going to work. for us today because I'm selling this kind of late so I'm going to take my um, my two ends and put them together and I am going to sew them one inch I'm going to do a one inch hem I forgot I was using the sewing machine. I'm going to do a five inch, five eighths of an inch seam allowance. So that means the skirt will fit. The waistband is going to fit kind of loosely. So I'm actually going to go just a little bit more. Trimming the loose threads once you complete a seam not only gives you a professional look, it also prevents those loose threads from getting caught in your machine once you attach it to a garment such as your DIY circle skirt. Right, so now I will place my I will match up my seams here for my waistband. And I'll do this at about a half inch mark as well. And then essentially, that is how it's gonna look. Now, as you are sewing your waistband to the skirt, you need to gently pull and stretch the waistband so that it is evenly distributed all around the skirt. Don't forget to trim those threads. And here's the finished project. This was a very easy DIY circle skirt to make. Try it. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and join me over on Zari'sCreations.com.